Mars, the red planet. As the fourth planet, Mars lies some 142 million miles from the sun, yet it sits around 215 million miles from Earth. Visible even long before telescopes, Mars is named after the ancient god of war in honor of its blood-red color. Mars is made mostly from rocks and dust, which contain high levels of iron. And, just like an iron nail when exposed to the elements, the Martian surface oxidizes and rusts, giving the planet its characteristic orange-red hue. At a modest 4,200 miles across, Mars is roughly half the size of Earth. Yet, despite its smaller size, Mars has two moons of its own, Phobos and Deimos, translated to fear and terror. But don't let their names fool you. At just 14 and seven and a half miles across, Phobos and Deimos don't exactly give off scary vibes. Tiny Mars is also the winner of largest mountain in the solar system, with Olympus Mons, a dormant ancient volcano. Standing at a remarkable 72,000 feet, Olympus Mons is more than twice as tall as Mount Everest. And the volcano's base covers an area the size of the state of Arizona. With nine successful surface landings just from the U.S. alone, Mars is easily one of our solar system's most well-explored planets. We even have robotic surface explorers studying the planet while we aren't there. Just like neighboring Earth, Mars is tilted on its axis by around 25 degrees, allowing the planet to experience seasons. A day on Mars would make any Earthling feel right at home, because it only takes the planet 24 hours to rotate once on its axis. In other words, even your worst days on Mars will only last about 40 minutes longer on the red planet. One Martian year would not be quite so home-like. Orbiting around 50% farther from the sun than Earth, it takes Mars nearly 687 days to orbit the sun once, nearly twice an Earth year. And because of this, if you left Earth 10 years old, you would arrive on the red planet a nice young five years old. Being a much less massive planet, you would only experience around 38% of Earth's gravity on Mars. So on Mars, you'd be able to jump around 62% higher and lift 62% more weight. Of course, this also means you would weigh less too. A 100 pound person on Earth would only weigh, you guessed it, 38 pounds upon arriving on Mars. Let's check out your Martian weather forecast. Like Venus, the Martian atmosphere is composed mostly of carbon dioxide. However, the atmosphere of Mars is far thinner than Venus's, allowing heat to more easily escape and debris from space to more frequently bombard the surface. With an atmosphere around 100 times thinner than Earth's, Mars has a very hard time retaining the sun's heat, leaving the planet's average temperature at a crisp 80 degrees below zero. Near the planet's frozen poles, temperatures may even plunge to almost 200 degrees below. However, during the Martian summer, temperatures near the equator would reach a nice, comfortable 70 degrees Fahrenheit, just like home. You would have to love wind to survive Mars. You can expect surface winds to gust around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And because of this, you can also expect frequent dust storms to sweep over the Martian surface. Expect very poor visibility. Any water on Mars seems to be locked beneath the planet's surface and in its icy poles. Any water that does reach the surface will quickly boil away, so you can expect zero precipitation. Mars has been absolutely fascinating, but it's time to journey into the frozen outer realms of our solar system. Wait, what's happening? Incoming! 